What's up and good afternoon from Overcast, Florida. Obviously we're not in Florida. I don't know what's going on with California. Apparently it thinks we're in Florida. And the back and forth weather changes between super sunny and overcast, humid, cloudy like this is absolutely killing me. I don't know if any of you guys have gnarly sinus issues, but I do and sinuses hate weather changes. And I have been miserable for the last, I don't even know how many days. Can we just like end this and like choose one weather and stick with it? But I'm not gonna let my sinuses stop me from being excited today because today is the big reveal of the SEMA Tahoe wrap project. But I'm really excited to finally get to try this concept on the Tahoe. So first we're gonna head over to Workfort World Headquarters 2.0. Uh, we got a couple of things we gotta do over there. Then we're gonna head to the wrap shop and check out the big reveal. So the other day I ended up adding this little addition here to uh, kind of the front snack area of HQ. And the one thing we're kind of missing is power, being that the only outlet is down there. And poor Dave the other day was fiending for some coffee so bad that he ended up having to use the Keurig on the ground. We can't have that. My good buddy deserves to drink some coffee off of a countertop. So for like 13 bucks on Amazon, got this sweet little uh, flush mount outlet with USB ports. So we're gonna end up mounting that I don't really know where. Somewhere in here that way we can actually plug in the microwave that we bought last week and have never once turned on. And the reason I left it open like this was not just only to store the trash can, but it also makes for an extra little desk space. And believe it or not guys, I'm about to I'm about to show you one of the very few, if not the only, D wall tools that I own. And that is right here. And I gotta say, you guys know I'm a Milwaukee guy, but this DeWalt jigsaw has treated me very well. At the time, Milwaukee did not make their fuel cordless jigsaw, which if you guys don't know the difference between the fuel and the regular fuel is their brushless setup. So if you're ever buying anything Milwaukee and you see like it's a screaming deal, usually that's the non-fuel version. So always make sure you're buying the fuel version of Milwaukee's tools. But like I said, this thing has treated me uh, really nice. Well done, DeWalt, well done. Still no Milwaukee. So let's come out here into the warehouse, grab some tape, a pencil so we can make some marks. I gotta say, honestly, having the Mercedes out of here doesn't make it feel that much bigger in here. And I don't know if it's because the Mercedes like hid all the junk that was on the back wall over there or what it is, but it, just, it really doesn't feel that much bigger here. It also doesn't help that we've got this giant rack. And for those of you guys that are wondering what's going on over here, um, in the next video, probably Monday, you guys will get a better update on kind of the direction that we're gonna be heading with uh, Work for World Headquarters 2.0. Tape, pencil, tape measure. Now, typically I would opt to put something center, but being that all the appliances are gonna be shifted off to this side, I don't wanna see a bunch of cords coming out. So I'm gonna shift the whole outlet over to this side and hopefully the Keurig will hide most of the wires. Uh, one other issue I'm running into is, you know, I would like to get that as close to the back as I can, but being that the jigsaw has its big plate on the bottom there, we can only get that far over. So we're going to have to do a little finagling. I could completely pull the countertop off and cut it from the bottom and that would let me get closer. Well, I might have to take back everything I just said. I totally forgot that I have my uh, Milwaukee multi-tool here and this burger will allow me to get super tight to the wall. So we'll swap out one completely thrashed blade here for one that's a little less thrashed. All right, we're good to go. Now they give you plenty of play on this axis to make the hole bigger, but you're real tight on this axis. You've got Maybe an eighth of play there for the coal that you're gonna cut, so you gotta be real precise. Well, we're all marked out. I've got my handy dandy iPhone light over there. Let's uh, see how long it takes to cut with this old blade. I'm sure the oil guy really appreciates the sound of the multi-tool right now. Let's see if we got her through. There we go. Well, a right, little left over there, but we'll clean that up. Well, let's pull all the tape up. Give it a quick little vacuum. And let's see if it fits. Whoa, that is a super snug fit right there. Now the one problem with this setup from Amazon is it doesn't come with screws, and I guess they do that because they don't know what you're putting it into, but with that snug of a fit, I mean, I can't even get it to come back out right now without pushing from underneath, so I don't think we need screws. I think we're good. Welcome, buddy. Good to see you, Chris. What's up, man? How you doing, Chris? Pretty good. Good to see you. Oh, were you, were you hanging out with the, uh, the oil man? Yeah, he doesn't, yes, buddy. he doesn't have a park. Yeah, yeah, hold on. Giving us crap about our park, and look, look at this sweet park, Joe. Well, uh, you know, Chris has always got the perfect timing, buddy. Way to show up when the when the work's done. I did it for you. Did you? Well, I got, you know, I wanted you to be able to microwave some burritos. Well, I think uh, we got some pizza in here. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, look, we got a box of pizza. We're ready to go, dude. Eat up. You'll be the first one. No, I'm all right. We haven't tested out the microwave yet. Well, everything is wrapped up. 
plugged in. Uh, the one thing they did screw up on, this, they should have flipped these plugs sideways because a plug like this really kind of screws with the picture and blocks a bunch of stuff, but whatever, works for what we need it for. Chris is over here complaining because apparently our, our snack supply has dwindled down to a whole lot of nothing. Well, if it was up to me, I would have put the coffee maker or coffee, yeah, whatever thing in the fridge or in the microwave over there. And put all your trophies over here, but what, the, what do I know? Well, I like seeing the trophies when I first walk in. Just reminds me every day that my truck's better than Carlos's. But all you gotta do is this, and then you can see it. You wanna go to the candy warehouse? Yeah, sure, let's go. Oh, okay. Well, Chris, they knew they were coming. They got, they got us a forklift instead of a cart now. We need to get these for Dave. Okay. We'll get the, the big box of them. Dave needs to come around. Man, well, maybe we can lure Dave back over if we have these. Yeah, why'd you wanna come here? You don't eat candy anymore. That's how we got That's how we got Skinny Chris. Skinny Chris doesn't eat junk food. He doesn't eat candy anymore. Just love seeing just it. Lo you just got to look at it? Gotta wanna look it. You want to touch it? You want to touch it a little bit? Want to smell it? Mm. <laughs> yep, we need some of these. Tree right there. Oh my God. Right? Think that's enough, Chris, or should we get more? What is that? Nothing. Here you go. 97.60. 97.60. Dude, why do you make it look like the box is so heavy? It's heavy, man. We're stocked up. I think we're good for a little while now. Even though Chris can't eat. A little remote. while. What? You'll eat like... this shit in like a week. <laughs> right this way, sir? Oh, thanks. Are we putting it right here? Yeah, put it right there for now. Chris, I can't see. There's a light switch. Found it. He's easy, Cat. Oh. <laughs> what are you doing? Can see? Oh. Well, now that we're all stocked up on snacks, I feel accomplished. Uh, let's go get the Tahoe. Well, we're back here at Deluxe Wraps. Yeah, bro. Well, now we get to see what she looks like out in the daylight. Turned out so sick. So one thing already you guys are all gonna say, I need to do this to my Denali and black out all the chrome because that looks killer. So you guys can see what we ended up doing with that body line right there and it just carries down perfectly onto the front end. I think it looks beautiful. Ended up wrapping the chrome on the uh, the headlights. Those pieces actually come off. We had the option to paint them. Um, Jeff texted me last night to see if I wanted just to have them painted, but just in the essence of getting them done, I said, let's wrap it. And the cool thing is about wraps, um, white's tough because white's match white paint, right? It's, it's almost impossible, yeah. But the cool thing about black is, it's pretty damn close. So like that's factory painted black, and then you can see the wrap next to it, like that's close enough to where nobody would ever say anything about that. White, you're, you're kind of screwed, but going with the black, once we tie in the black painted grill right here, um, it's all gonna tie in and you're never really gonna notice without getting too close as to what's a wrap and what is actually paint. Jeff, you did an awesome job, brother. Appreciate it, thank you thank very you. much. What, uh, what can we look at for maintenance on a wrap like this? So keeping it clean as possible is your best bet. Out of the sun, as long as you can. So garaging it, keep the parking in the shade, things like that help out big time. Is waxing it gonna do anything to it in terms of taking out scratches or? No, once it scratches, it is scratched. You wanna use very clean rags when you wipe it down and just be gentle. Gotcha. Don't not rub too much or too hard on it. Not too much pressure. Awesome. Well, if you guys are in the market, check out Deluxe Wrap. Now that we're finally out of the shop lighting and get a better look at all the embossing, it looks absolutely sick. It's just enough of the work for it without like being too loud work for it. And we can kind of sneak into SEMA because we're not an official SEMA sponsor. So sick SR Designs embossed logo in there. I don't know how well that shows up on camera, but a lot of these embossings look a lot better in person. I know it's hard with the lighting to get it on camera, but it looks, uh, this looks sick. I'm super stoked with the way the Tahoe turned out. Well, we're on our way back to the warehouse now. We've got the Tahoe behind us. I don't know if you can see it back there. Oh, look what else showed up today. It's my buddy's truck. That's, that's not yours? No. What happened? Some stuff. You already let the cat out of the bag. Well, what, was I not supposed to? <laughs> so somebody made me an offer that was very worth it to get rid of the truck. So it left last week. Now, if you so. guys don't know, Duramax Barbecue is in the baking industry. Mm -hmm. So money matters. It makes sense. Yes, absolutely. What do you think about the Tahoe, dude? You looks like good, it? dude. Yeah, looks really good. Really? What? That was you? Yeah. Great work, Chris. So Chris organized the warehouse the other day. 
Of course, he puts uh, Duramax barbecues, one spare tire that he came to pick up today on the bottom of the whole stack. We could just throw in the dumpster. I don't want it. I don't want it. I don't want it. I, I just appreciate your brand new gloves that you brought. They're not brand new. They've been used like once. Oh, okay. Well, I was worried about pulling the Tahoe in before the rain came, but apparently uh, we got sunny skies again. I do have to say, guys, the tail lights look so much better now that uh, this whole pillar has been blacked out. It really does help tie everything in. And then even the same with the headlights, like getting rid of this chrome strip just makes them look better. I do wish they didn't have all the amber, but I understand for DOT reasons. Off-the-shelf lights always end up coming with a bunch of amber in them. Uh oh, looks like we're right on the brink of hitting 700 miles on this thing. Make sure we uh, leave these windows down to get rid of some of the new car smell. I know I've said it before, but I absolutely cannot stand new car smell. All new car smell is, is the off-gassing of the chemicals that were used to make the vehicle. So they're not good for you. Um, and it just gives me an instant headache. But well, man, does this thing look good. So the next steps for the Tahoe is uh, we're gonna do some debadging. We gotta get the windows tinted. We've gotta get the grill that's sitting over there painted. Um, our wheels and tires. The wheels have been ordered. Hopefully I get them, um, I don't know, maybe next week I would say. They are 26s. I'm not gonna say exactly what model I went with. I'll show you guys when they show up, but hopefully they fit, because I don't wanna do any trimming. Chris, you wanna say anything to the people? No. <laughs> All right, guys, well, with that, we're going to wrap up. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you have not subscribed already, please click the subscribe button now that we do not miss out on any future content. Don't forget to give this video a like and give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to check out workforitapparel.com because if there's anything you want in this life, you got to be willing to work for it. You guys are the best. I'm out. Roll the outro. Damn. Uh. Yeah.